afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, April 10th, 2019, and I am Sharla Harris. Tarleton Founders Week, Pursuit of Purple, and a Medical Mistake. These stories and more coming up next on Texan TV News. In campus news, it's Tarleton Founders Week. This is a week of celebrating what makes Tarleton so special to all of its Texans. It is not too late to sign up and participate in the remainder of the week's events. This is a week full of Tarleton's most meaningful traditions. Contact student involvement and family relations to participate or ask questions. Today's event is the Oscar P celebration. It is going on from now until 2 p.m. today. We now turn to a member of the Tarleton Activities Board for more information. What's up guys, uh, my name is Daniel Mendoza, I'm with uh, Tarleton Activities Board. We're here for Oscar P's birthday. We're handing out Dippin' Dots today from 12 all the way till 2. So come out to the John Tarleton statue and get you some Dippin' Dots. In local news, Tarleton State University's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Sciences is hosting the first annual Pursuit of Purple Steer Show on April 13th. The proceeds from the show will help fund future projects in agriculture and consumer sciences. The show will be held at the Parker County Sheriff's Posse Showground in Weatherford, Texas. For more information, we sat down with Rachel Hawley to talk about the show. My name is Rachel Hawley and I'm an Agricultural Communications major and um, I'm really excited for this weekend because um, it gives the youth a chance to bring out their new uh, prospect steers and get them a chance to work in the ring and to kind of get accustomed to the show life because um, the calves that they have right now are they're pretty young and so they um, the kids want to get them experienced so that when they go to major livestock shows or their county livestock show to show um, they're prepared and they're ready for uh, what the show life is about. For additional information you can reach Dr. Andrew at 254 434-3049 or by email at candrew at go.tarleton.edu. And now today's Texas National, International, and Sports News from the Associated Press. In state news, Jennifer Hardy is suing the Houston Astros for more than $1 million. Hardy is claiming that a t-shirt cannon shot by the team's mascot, Orbit, at a game last season shattered her left index finger. The woman said that the t-shirt was fired from what she described as a bazooka-style cannon. Hardy's fracture required two surgeries and physical therapy two times a week. The lawsuit alleges that the Astros were irresponsible when firing the cannon and failed to provide warnings to fans about the risk. In national news, Rosemary's Bentley from Salem, Oregon, survived 99 with most of her organs on the wrong side of her body. After she died, medical students found out that all of her organs, except for her heart, were in the wrong place. University of Portland students studying the heart of a cadaver, they realized all of the vessels in her heart were on the wrong side, which led them to investigate further. In her 99 years, Bentley never knew of her condition. However, her family now states that there was such evidence prior to her surgery complications in her medical history. In international news, the AP News Minute has the latest on Israeli Prime Minister, re-elected Mueller reports, and more. This is AP News Minute. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appears to have won a fifth term in office. Unofficial results show his party and its allies winning a solid majority of the seats in Parliament. Attorney General William Barr returns to Capitol Hill for a second day in a row Wednesday. On Tuesday, he defended his handling of the Robert Mueller report, arguing that parts must be redacted to comply with the law. Democrats in Congress are working on plans to address the surge of migrants arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border. Democrats say President Trump's immigration policies are making things worse. Trump blames Democrats for refusing to tighten current laws. And NBA great Magic Johnson abruptly quit his job as president of the Los Angeles Lakers. He announced his decision to reporters saying he wants to go back to having fun. Matt Small, the Associated Press with AP Newsman. In sports, Magic Johnson abruptly quit the Los Angeles Lakers president of basketball operations Tuesday night. Johnson said he wants to return to a simpler life that he enjoyed as a wealthy businessman 
and beloved former player before taking charge of the franchise just over two years ago. Johnson, who will turn 60 in August, has many thriving business interests, along with ownership, stakes in the Lakers, Dodgers, and Los Angeles FC. Johnson retired in 1991 after he tested positive for HIV, but later returned briefly to the Lakers as a player and a coach. Johnson said his current health is not is ideal and he insists no health concerns were part of his decision to quit the job that seemed to be his ultimate destiny. For weather, we turn to Hannah Beyer. Hi, my name is Hannah Beyer reporting for the Texan News Service. The National Weather Service states that it's currently 85 degrees outside with a high of 94 and a low of 55 tonight. You can expect strong wind speeds into the evening. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 on weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Taylor Harris, Emily Jackson, and Hannah Beyer. Have a wonderful day, Texans.